So jaw surgery and orthognathic surgery, we do this for really four uh, reasons that are interrelated. The obvious one that we think about is for the bite or the occlusion when we're moving the jaws to help optimize how the teeth come and fit together. But also there's several other reasons we do it, including for the airway and airway space to help breathing through the nose, to treat snoring, to cure or to treat sleep apnea and open up the airway space and sites of obstruction. The third also is for the TMJs. So the TMJs are the two joints on the single mandible bone that together with the occlusion create the stability of the biting system and the masticatory system. And at times there can be issues with the TMJ that lead to bite disturbances or require orthognathic jaw surgery as well to reposition the jaws. And at times, too, when we perform jaw surgery, it'll take some of the load off of the TMJs and improve those and improve that function. And the last area, which is really critically important, too, and one of the things we strive for and focus on is the aesthetics in the cosmetic aspect of improving facial balance, changing the facial appearance in a positive way. And this should really complement the other three areas. So it's the form, function, following one another. If we can improve the bite, open the airway, uh, address any TMJ instabilities or issues and optimize appearance, that's kind of what we're going for. So thanks for listening. If you have any other questions, please check us out on our website, uh, www.dericksteinbacher.com. Thanks again.